Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Extreme TV, The Toy Ranter. Thank you. Um, if you're under the age of 14, you should not be watching this video. This is for extreme collectors only. Yeah. Um, I've been taking a break from uh, toy hunting because, you know, I mean, there's nothing new, really. Same thing and same thing. So I'm going to bring y'all some um, um, Extreme TV uh, toy reviews, retro throwbacks, specials. And um, I have been having uh, car issues. So I'm in the business of uh, getting a new car. So <sighs> leave your comments. Which Blue Beetle, this is from the Blue Beetle um, Booster Gold 2-pack. Uh, and this one isn't that bad. He got a little smirk on the face. I'm uh, looking at the other one, it's, it's a little more serious. But leave your comment below and tell me. Um, are y'all getting that gold label one? Oh, y'all, because I, I decided not to get it. Because I, I, this Blue Beetle is just good enough. Um, of course, we're, we're going to rant. Um, I know it's not McFarlane's fault. I don't have a problem with McFarlane. But DC Universe with the collector edition being $30. What, what do y'all think? Leave a comment below and tell me what y'all think. $30? I, I, I want that Abyss figure. Um... Hawkman's going to be a collector. Uh, Sinestro's going to be a collector. Um, I, I have to admit, I don't collect uh, DC vs. Vampires, but that Green Lantern, I might have to cop that shit. But $30, oh man, I, leave your comments below. I, I, come on. I, I would have to take a in-depth look at the, uh, at the quality. Maybe that's why it's $30. But... I'm not playing. I'm not blaming you, Todd. I'm blaming, you know, DC Multiverse has crossed that threshold, and now it's thirty dollars for some figures. I do want that Abyss, and I do want that Hawkman. Um, we'll we will see. Um, I see they're coming out with Black Lightning. Can't wait to get him. Um, they're supposed to come out with Atomic Skull, so. And I want to take this time to thank all my subscribers. Thank you. Um, I will be coming back with toy hunts. I'm just, you know, I got to take care. Of, I got to get a new vehicle. So I want to give a shout out to Al, my toy, the toy guy, his toy agent. Yeah. So. All right. Let's get this review underway. This is a special retro throwback. <laughs> yeah. So, McFarlane, since we're on the subject of McFarlane, McFarlane has done a lot of properties that we know, right? Not only DC, but he's also doing um, Batman 1966. He's done Mortal Kombat. He's also doing Warhammer. No, no, that's N NECA, sorry. But there was a figure line... Even before Mortal Kombat, that he was doing that everybody was crazy for. And uh, basically, they sold that GameStop and uh, Target. And that's what this special is all about. Have a little special bag here. And we will 
be doing a little throwback. You ready? <laughs> McFarlane once did, before Hasbro took over, Fortnite! Now the difference between this Fortnite and now Hasbro Fortnite, McFarlane did more characters. You know, bam, looking in the back. Remember this? Throwback. I told you, I want to do different stuff, not just, you know, the same old, same old. I'm trying to make this channel different, innovative, and exciting. The extreme way. The exalted and esteemed toy render. Now, I collected these figures when they came out. Some were exclusive to Amazon. And some were corny as hell, like the bear dude and the girl. But as I looking on this, the guy dressed up as a dinosaur. Stupid. But most of these figures favored G.I. Joe, like uh, this guy. Right here. Firefly. Yep, you had Carbine, you had this guy, the prisoner, <laughs> looks just like Darkseid, <laughs> but I always liked this, I always thought McFarlane did a good job with these, yeah, see, there you go, McFarlane toys, <laughs> yeah, man, um, the prisoner was a special figure, you know, Never took them out the box. Always kept them. <laughs> Fortnite. McFarlane Toys. What year is this? We see. Made in China. As we all know. What year was this? What year? Let me see here. 2019. So that's 2018. Yeah. Fortnite, The Prisoner. Next up we have, BAM! Wild Card. Uh, kind of remind me, remind me of a, a, a suit, suited like a mask, um, Jigsaw from Marvel, you know? Seven inch figures, 22 moving parts also available. Pony. They had two two wild cards. One with the diamond. One with the heart. Oh, I also wanted to get the one with the ace, but you know people will get this cuddly. I'm oh, not cuddly. I'm just thinking about this dumb character here. But wild card was another one of my favorites. You know, high stakes. So leave your comment below. And tell me what y'all do. Y'all still have y'all um. Fortnite figure from McFarland. Did you sell it? You know, because like I said, I don't. I, I, you know, it's still in the box, unopened. <laughs> yeah, this was a special character mines. You know, always like this character also. So yeah, yeah. So leave your comments below and tell me what, how much did these go go for on a secondary and third dairy market yeah so tell me who's your favorite Fortnite character from McFarlane when McFarlane was making Fortnite figures huh <laughs> leave a comment below and tell me what's your favorite figure okay throwbacks Fortnite's wild card another BAM is Vendetta Vendetta, they, they made this for the other Fortnite Hasbro, but I like these seven inches because they're, I just, there's something about these seven inches figures that just captivated me. Um, the other Fortnite figures, they're good. Hasbro, you know, but they're not just, they're not going really in depth. Like, they're not going, you know, uh, I wish they would go do more, you know, interesting characters. 
um, because Fortnite has a lot of characters, just like Marvel, just like DC. They have a, a very uh, varied and wide range of characters, so I, I just wish they would be more innovative with their character selection, um, like McFarlane did. So McFarlane did a wonderful job. I mean, I, 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 I there's so many characters to choose from. So and which, which you know you will see in this uh, video. So Vendetta is another one of my favorites. He's like a Japanese warrior. Um, you know, not not so much. You know, comes with a gun, stand, backpack, axe. You know, which is played through the Fortnite game, uh, it, which is still popular with the gamers. Um, yeah, so many. And a favorite of the Fortnite game is Peely. Not not my favorite. You know, that's the side. The bottom, top, Fortnite. Fortnite, 22 moving parts. Yeah. Bam, da, da. <laughs> Next we have, bam, Fortnite, Black Knight. Hmm, not Marvel's Black Knight. You know, no trademark here. What difference? Just a Black Knight. Um, just a plain Black Knight. I don't know, I might sell them. I don't know. Oh, I want to give a shout out to um, a toy store, a comic book toy, well, not a toy store, um, in Menlo Park, in, um, what was that, uh, Edison, no, Wood, yeah, Edison, um, I want to give a big shout out to True Believers, right here on the channel, um, check them out, you know, so, alright, we have Black Knight, 22 moving parts, the back, you know. So I think this is, this is part of the first wave. Yeah, so that's the side, the bottom, nothing but obligatory and scan bar on the top. You have Black Knight, Fortnite. Uh, pretty plain figure, not, you know, but I like the mask, so that's why I got him. <laughs> Come with an ax, gun, Shield stand, you know, throwbacks, man. Still got my stuff in packages, yeah. Because you know, just in case I wanted to sell it, needed the money, <laughs> and who doesn't? But still, and this guy is worth a lot of money on the secondary and third market, so there you have it. Fortnite's Black Knight. Another one of my favorites, BAM! Well, I mentioned earlier. Well, Carbine, but Omega. Omega, he's something of a, like an enforcer. Remember that game, Killer Instinct? He reminds me of Cygor. Was it Cygor? Cygor. Yeah. I, don't, I, I want that game. I got a PlayStation 3. They don't make it for PlayStation 3, but I digress. Omega. Oh my God, incredible figure. Part of the second wave, that's on top. Same thing, barcode, obligatory, Jumamo Jumbo. We have a great picture of him on the side. Same thing, reversed. Comes with an ax, gun, backpack, standard uh, stand. Leave me a comment below and tell me, what, what, you know, how many, how many, how many of these are that, 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 that y'all collected? And if, you know, and, um, you know, because I think these guys go for a pretty penny. Look, the box ain't that beat up. I mean, it's a little worse for wear. I mean, it's not that bad. So maybe I can get a pretty penny for him. I don't know. I haven't decided. Uh, once again, thanks to True Believers. I sold them my um, my Ghostbusters from Diamond Select uh, comic, uh, uh, Diamond Select. So, and then most of my DC Universe Classics. Which McFarlane's making over, uh, but not the the classic uh, characters, but still sold a heavy collection. Kept a few, you know, build Imperi X, uh, Ultra Humanite. Kept those, but yeah, Omega. You know, I just love to look at this figure. He looks something out of a cyber fighter, out of fucking Predator. Yeah, 
It's like a predator soldier. Look at him. Omega. McFarland. Fortnite. Next we have BAM! We have over the overtaker. I'll take you over. <laughs> Looks like a biker. A lot of people don't remember this 80s movie called The Wraith. Where it was this alien biker that came out of nowhere. I gotta watch that movie. Oldie but goodie. But yeah, we have an overtaker. Wish they made a bike for this guy. Yeah, it's the back. You know? Uh, we have a lot of lot to go. <laughs> I got a bag of goodies. Throwbacks. Picture here. I think this is the fourth part of the fourth wave. Not sure. Huh. Glider pack with Rex. God, I hate that figure. Hate that character. But Overtaker is nice. Comes with a uh, weird kind of axe, gun, you know. Told you. And you can use these guns for um, your Marvel Legends if you want. I don't know about DC, but, you know. He's a cool character, man. I just wish they had a bike for him. You know, and the design is kind of unique too. Look at the the waist, the, the, the legs. You know, these figures are just made uh, very, very uh, different from what we used to from DC and Marvel. You know, God, nice character though. Uh, I just can't find myself selling my figures, man. These Fortnite figures are so look Epic Games, so nice. Ah, uh, McFarlane. You did a good job with these, man. I wish you could have kept the license. Eh. Progress. The Industrial Revolution. Toy re Revolution will always go forward. But who will pay the price? Us. Us. But we gotta find a way. Some play the waiting game. Wait for it to go on clearance. But with these figures, who knows? Fortnite Overtaker. I take a break. Holy shit. Just found, look at that. DC Unlimited Aquaman. Wow. I will be selling this. True believers. Wow, y'all. Look at that. This is nice. Holy crap. Hawkman. Ay, ay, ay. And gold. God, hallelujah, we took a break. God. I can't show y'all what else I have. I gotta wait till the next video. <laughs> Cause this is a Fortnite special, damn it. Now we return back to the special. Bam, wave one, we've got Skull Trooper. Um, there was an exclusive released only to Walmart. There was an exclusive only through Walgreens. <sighs> Got to correct myself. Two shot. <sighs> yeah. So wave one, glow in the dark, uh, Walgreens exclusive. This is not the one. This is the regular. So nice shot on the side. This one is, nah, I like this one better. Large, same thing, barcode, legal stuff, front, Skull Trooper. This is always a mm, kind of weird one for me, but I like it. Uh, gun, you know, rifle, comes with a rifle, axe, book, book bag, backpack, and uh, stand, which was good, you know. <sighs> Very, very, I played this game, and I would definitely get it. I don't think they make it for PlayStation 3. I gotta check, but yeah. Um, yeah, Skull Trooper, man, Wave 1. I um, think they made another, you know, so. But I knew they definitely made a Glow in the Dark War is exclusive, so. Tell me what y'all think. Leave a comment below. Tell me. Did y'all pick up that glow in the dark one? It's kind of neat, you know what I'm saying? But we got, you know, troop builder, I think. But, uh, you know, I have to say, good figure. 
Good figure. He had a box kind of jacked up, but he's still in the pack. Still got his accessories. All right, true believers. <sighs> yeah. If you're gonna sell your figures, make sure they're complete and with their accessories. Okay. <laughs> Fortnite <laughs> Skull Trooper. Another one of my favorites, close to my cold fucking dark heart, is the Ice King. Oh my god, this guy is bitchin'. Look at his face. Um, he comes with a sword, additional uh, waist pads, and he comes with some... It's not an axe, it's a, like a mace type things. And, uh, you know, here's the back. What else you can get? They came out with a lot of stuff. They came out with gliders and, and stuff like that. And I think a boat? Yeah. But that's the new um, Fortnite. You know, that's a side. The Ice King. I will freeze all my enemies. Whoever faced the Ice King. The Ice King, man. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Interesting character. I think, you know, I think he's friends with the Black Knight. Who knows? Enemies. I like that side art. God. Fortnite, huh? Epic games. Um, what can I say about this guy? Nice design. You know what I'm saying? 22 parts of articulation. I like the upper body the face could be more than that that's just a flat face it could be more uh detailed than that but other than that the figure you know the figure is you know it's it's, it's 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 you know let me take it back to the old school it's dope so hey leave them comments below tell me did y'all pick this up you know how much it goes for the how much it goes for in a secondary third area market you know what I'm saying? Let me know. Come on, rant and rave. Give me your toy expertise <laughs> on Fortnite's McFarlane Toys throwback, The Ice King. We also have BAM! Like I mentioned before, an enemy of Omega. We have Carbine. It comes with an axe. With them old time pop poppy guns and backpack. Yeah. Wave two. Yeah. Bam. Got Raptor. Yeah. Yeah. And that guy that looked like a cat. But 22 moving parts. Side art. Dope. He's a good guy, you can tell barcode legal stuff yeah um another interesting character um i like the mask i wish i wish he was more menacing but it's a good guy you know i like the axe you know um they remade both of these guys omega and carbine would you, you can take off their pieces and they were like a little bit smaller but, you know the hasbros um yeah um, I got Hasbro Brutus Ghost version with his all white big gun. I'm gonna see if I can show it to you. That's Hasbro, not McFarlane though, but yeah. So leave a comment below, tell me. You know, did y'all pick this guy up? What y'all think? You know what I'm saying? And don't forget, if you like this video, check out my, all my other videos. Share, like, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you like my content. It's free. It's free. One don't cost you nothing. Nothing out of your pockets. I'm not Hasbro. I'm not here to shove bullshit down your throat. I'm here to do, to do toy reviews, throwback, toy um, uh, reviews. Only I'm not taking them out. Just the leave them in box edition, special Fortnite edition. And... To give you specials, which I'm going to give you when I do when I return, make my triumphant return to the toy aisles, McFarlane 
Fortnite Carbine. We have another medieval warlord. Fortnite Ragnarok. Every time I say this name, it reminds me of Thor. But yeah, AIM, AIM, Ragnarok. 22 parts, moving parts. Part of the third wave, I think. Ragnarok. They made Ragnaroks. I, I just like these figures like, like this, seven inch. I just wish they would have made them continue to make them like this. You know, like I said, leave a comment below. I like them. It doesn't matter if you're positive, negative. I like them all. Share, like, and subscribe. Subscribe. We're trying to get to, um, you know, unlimited number of uh, subscribers. And we're trying to go viral. So, come on. Come on. 2.9K. 2. Come on, views. Come on. Let's get it done. We can do it. Come on. Because I'm going I'm, 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 I'm to I'm start to bombard y'all. Watch. With grade A tour reviews just like this. All right. This guy is nice. Comes with a, um, a, a extra thing you put on your you know, dress. Let me see. Uh, cape. Yeah, this is his cape. Comes with an axe and a gun. Why does he need a gun? Ragnarok, huh? I like the design of this guy. Got a bone face. Yeah, he's nice. Nice design. You know what I'm saying? It looked like good articulation. You know what I'm saying? With these figures, I didn't want to take, bring them out the box, as you know. I don't want to take them out the box. He just looks too awesome, you know? So, tell me what you think. Did you get this guy? Did you pick this, did you pick this up? You know, tell me. Share. <laughs> I'm here. For all my subscribers. Fortnite. <laughs> now we get into the uh, exclusives here, okay? Bam! We have Hybrid, but he showed up in GameStop, so that's where I got this guy, GameStop, a long time ago. So, yeah. <laughs> Side, actually he has two different types of um, forms, but Hybrid comes with a backpack, you know, Looks Japanese, axe, old time musket, and stand. 22 moving parts, lizard guy. He looks awesome, man. I just wish his mouth would open. But look at his, his arm. Oh my god. Awesome. 22 parts, side art. I hate Peely. I hate Peely. They came with a bone Peely where he peel himself and you see his bones. Wow. Tell me. This is a pickup. Did you pick this up? Leave your comments below and tell me. I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear your rants. Or no rants. Just let me know. Um, you know, like I said, Fortnite, I, I love this. I love when McFarlane was doing this. I, I think he did a really good job with these figures, man. What the heck? What the, come on, Hans, bro. You got to do better, man. I mean, you, you, it, all across the board, McFarlane is the man. I mean, yeah. The DC universe, the multiverse, you know, I mean, uh, the DC multiverse, um, too many Batmans, quality issues that need to be addressed. You know, I rant I, 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 and I like him, but come on, you got to spank the monkey sometimes when you are not getting the quality toys that you, that we all deserve. Damn it! You know I'll rant my ass off. Hybrid. Hybrid rants in this bitch. Fortnite hybrid. Yeah, I'll hybrid your ass. I'm spending the money. You better bring the quality, bitch. <laughs>